welcome back you guys um if you haven't noticed i have changed the channel name to octavia beauty octavia is my first name Tavia is a nickname um i changed the name of the channel to octavia beauty because i want to brand me and myself and i but welcome back to the channel you guys you guys know that we are drugstore we are makeup and we do everything from drugstore to luxury and we even throw in some bum skincare every now and then. So you guys know that I try to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But due to my career, that doesn't always happen. But before we get started, I want you guys to look down, hit your subscribe button, give your girl a big thumbs up, and... So today in this video, we're going to be using Pat McGrath's. Um, Mothership palette. This is my first time purchasing and using one of her full-size palettes But we are about to do a bum tutorial with it So we are taking that light color shade and blending that above the crease zone and we're just going to blend it out guys I would give you shade names but I am currently at my new place of employment and I am currently <laughs> on the road right now and I left that palette at home but it was my intention to edit this at home and tell you guys shades names but I am sorry but you guys are going to be seeing a new video of where I am and everything that's going on coming up pretty soon Now we are going into our transition shade um, that looks to be a deeper looking brown shade. It's definitely deeper than the shade that we took above the crease zone. We're going to pack that shade on, blend it out. You guys are definitely want to stick around for my final thoughts because I have some thoughts about Mother Pat Palette.
guys, I swatched all of the shimmer shades in the palette for you so you can kind of see what they look like. I was swatching them to see which one that I wanted to use. And I think I went into the goldy metallic type of shades. And we are doing type of kind of a halo cut crease, but we didn't really cut a crease, so it's like a halo type eyeshadow. taking that lighter shade that I use above the cut crease and I use it to kind of blend out the edges of the shimmer shadow so it don't look so harsh if that makes any sense. I think this may be a face full of first products but I'm, right now I'm just showing you guys um, how the foundation matched my skin color because I did pick this foundation out online of course the scores the stores are closed um, all right I used one complete pump all over my face I dotted it all over my face just one pump and I blended it out and then I so slowly beginning to realize that one pump wasn't enough coverage. I could still see too much of my skin. I think I went into a second pump, but let's watch it and see what happens. maybe two and a half pumps I'm not sure but one pump definitely wasn't enough coverage 
for the price. Okay, you guys, I am back with the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this look. Um, we did a halo eye shadow look. I wouldn't call it a halo cut crease because I didn't cut a crack. I didn't use a. I didn't cut a crease when I achieved this look. I just used um, the eyeshadow palette. So let's go over all the new things that I use in this video. And give you my thoughts on them now one thing that I used off the camera that you guys did not see me use um, was this mini Fenty baby what it do travel size makeup refinishing spray so this isn't a setting spray but it's a finishing spray and um, it's a little baby one because I have so many setting sprays I really didn't need another one but I wanted to try it uh, my thoughts on this is like I like the pump on it like it sprays like like all the way down and the mist on it is so fine it's just like the the watermelon glow recipe mister on it um so i like the spray on it the finish on this i'm gonna have to use it a couple more times to, to to tell you if i really like it but the sprayer on this i love and it's a really fine mist just like the watermelon glow recipe spray and so i like the fine mist and i love the sprayer on it so this is definitely a contender but we will see um on my lips i use the the fancy stunner lip paint in the shade unveil and on top of it i use the fancy glow in the original which i i'm almost out y'all i can see straight to this bottom i am almost out baby but and then I also went on top of that with just a little bit of the melted glow liquefied lip gloss from Too Faced. I did pick this up from TJ Maxx. So just to let you guys know that if you see this at TJ Maxx, I'll pick it up. I don't use it on its own, but I like to go in on the center of my lips sometimes and use it kind of of a topper to just give it that little metallic effect. So another product that we use is the Versalit Liquid Powder. It's an oil balancing serum with white French pink clay. It didn't feel like powder, but I'm going to have to give you guys an update because you guys know I put it right here because I always get oily right here. It does not matter if I'm using a matte foundation or hydrated foundation. I always get oily right here. So I'm going to have to give you guys an update on this. When I put it on though, I'm going to let you guys know. It didn't feel like a powder. I mean, it felt like a, a regular serum. Like, I've seen some other people's videos and it was like, oh, yeah, it's rubbing down and it feels like a powder. And it didn't feel like a powder to me. It still felt like a serum. That's just my tip be it on it. I'm going to have to give you guys an update and let you guys know how it worked for me in a later video. Let me see. Is there anything else new that I use? Okay, so I use the Fenty Hydrating um, Foundation. And with the hydrating foundation, I use the shade 340. It's the Fenty Pro Fits a Hydrating fil Filtration. Um, um, it took more of this to get the coverage that I wanted. Um, I think this is a medium. What kind of coverage is this? This is, can't be a full coverage foundation. It says the hydrating medium to full coverage for skin tones long wear to me this is a light to a medium coverage it took me i think two pumps to get kind of medium coverage because with the first pump i could see a lot of skin with the second pump it covered more but i could still see some skin but not as much as with the first pump i would say if i wanted full full coverage i probably would have to go in with this with two and a half to maybe three pumps but you can't see my skin now i made it work but i wouldn't say medium to full i would say light to medium but it is buildable i do think you can get that full full coverage of it 
but you're going to have to use more of the foundation. Now, as of the foundation itself, the color matched my skin. It went on pretty smooth. The only thing that I had an issue with was the coverage. I had to use a little bit more, but sometimes I use two pumps. Sometimes I use four pumps of foundations. So maybe that's just me. I've got to get used to the formula. So this is going to have to be uh, a comeback and update with you guys to let you guys know how much I really enjoy this product. But my first impressions are that I had to use a little bit more product to get that coverage. Now, last but not least in any way is the mother. So this is Pat McGrath's Divine Rose. I think it was in stock one day for the Savora VIB Rouge sale. Um, if I managed to get my hands on it. And it sold out and I don't think it's been back in stock yet. I haven't seen it back in stock yet. It is originally $125. I got 25% off. But I have another Pat McGrath palette that I don't even use that often. Because I noticed that in her palettes that she has a lot more shimmers than matte. And I'm going to tell you why <laughs> right now. She has a lot more shimmers than mattes in these palettes because her matte formula is not that great her matte formula is not a perfect formula this is the mini pat mcgrath mothership sublime palette and i got this back when it was like on on like really sell 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 for sephora i got this for the low low i can't remember the price but it was definitely for the low low um but yeah like her matte formulas is no different than is i've used better matte formulas now it is pigmented they do blend. I did have to put a little bit of work in there to achieve the look that I got today. But her mats, there's nothing spectacular about them. Uh, but her shimmers, I think people buy them for the shimmers. And I think that's why she put more shimmers in here. I definitely think these shimmers are definitely beautiful. You can use them as a topper shade or whatever. But her shimmer formula is like bar none. And the shimmer colors that she have in here is amazing. I did swatch the shimmers for you guys so you will see them. You know, you should have seen them before this point. But the shimmers in this palette are bar none. Her shimmers are a great formula. Now, here's the kicker. Is this palette worth the $125? Don't y'all drag me for this. But I don't think it's worth it. Because even with Natasha Denona, if you pay $129 for a palette, um, the Metropolis palette, I paid pretty good penny for that. And I got some, I, I, well, I didn't really pay full price on it. I used some points and I got it. Uh, but look how many more shades you get with this and you get different formulas. I got cream formulas. I got shimmer formulas like I love this palette and I feel like this palette is worth it because you get more shades. Um, but this is going to probably be my last Pat McGrath purchase. I just don't think they're worth the money. This was the only mothership palette that I own. This is the only mothership color story that really caught my eye. Those other palettes really didn't catch my eye. They just wasn't for me but i do think the shimmers in this palette are great and if you're thinking about trying pad i would say try one of those minis or try a call or one of those quads get a quad or a mini before you invest a full price for a full palette because to me i just don't think it's worth it pat mcgrath line is so expensive and i understand that maybe she's trying to build that with Sh chanel and tom ford but she's not going to get my dollars. I'm going to get my dollars to Fenty, to people who are affordable and are definitely worth the money. But thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Make sure that you give your girl a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later.